Today on Walks and Talks with Diego, we are going to talk about winter gear. Now some dogs are made for winter and others, like Diego, are absolutely not. So in order for him to stay safe and comfortable and warm on the walk, we need to have some gear on him. And I mean, how adorable is he? With Diego's age, he has become a bit more prone to the cold. He has some arthritis and he just tends to be cold more easily than he ever was before. He's also a pretty skinny dog, so he doesn't have a whole lot of insulation on him either. You can find all sorts of jackets and sweaters and other winter gear, and you can find it at almost every price point as well. Diego is modeling for us the Herta snowsuit. And this is a really great snowsuit. It's uh, got nice warm lining. It also has the foil interior to reflect the heat back. And then he's got some pretty basic um, little booties on. Sometimes if the weather's just slightly cool, a little sweater will do him. When we've got the lower temperatures, the snowsuit is a little bit more his style and keeps his hips from feeling too much of the cold and he's happy and bouncy when he's wearing it. When you do choose your new winter gear for your dog, you want to make sure that you introduce it properly to them. We don't want to just tackle our dogs and put it on so that we can see how cute they are. We want to go slow, make sure to do a proper introduction so that having this gear put on them is a pleasant and positive experience for them. So typically we'll start by opening up the neck hole really large, placing my hand in there with some treats, and encouraging the dog to stick their nose into the hole to these treats. And then they can pop their nose right back out again. We'll repeat that until they are feeling comfortable with that piece of equipment or the, uh, the sweater going over their head. If you're wearing the snowsuit, that is a lot of leg work to practice. If you're doing something like a loose stretchy sweater, it's going to be a little bit easier. You want to make sure that you do some work so that your dog is comfortable with you handling their legs, because you're going to need to lift them up and pop them through the leg openings. So again, we're doing some pairing. So we want to touch the leg, pair it with food. Touch the leg, pair it with food. Lift the leg up, pair it with food. And once we've got that part where our dogs are nice and comfortable with it, then we can start to pop that leg through the opening of the, of the sweater or the jacket. Once you've got the piece of equipment on them, then you can do a great big happy party for them, lots of treats and praise, and this will help to ensure that they're enjoying that sweater or jacket or piece of equipment. When it comes down to the doggy boots, little feet can be a bit more sensitive and can be harder to work with, just like so many dogs struggle with nail clippings. Right? We've got ticklish little toes. It's not super comfortable for a lot of them. So we want to make sure that we again go slow, introduce the boots by allowing them to sniff and receive rewards just for checking them out. And then we can progress to touching the paw, lifting it up, and then slipping on the boot, ensuring that every time we are making that positive association, turning the experience into something pleasant and fun for the dog. As your dog starts to move around in the new equipment, you'll likely find you need to check the fit, see if those booties are staying on, make sure that the sweater or the jacket or snowsuit isn't pinching anywhere or bunching up anywhere. Dogs' bodies are weird, man, and we need to make sure that the equipment fits them well. We would love to see your dog in their winter gear and their booties and sweaters. You can post a photo or a video to our social media, and we will ooh and ah over how cute they are, just like Diego.